。Hello， 兄弟们，离职三年后哈、啊，哥们咱又回英特尔了。开个玩笑啊，我其实并不是回英特尔上班了，而是来看一下他们全新出炉的英特尔 GTC 科技体验中心。据说啊，有上千平米，投入那是老大了。之前啊，我还去加州总部看过英特尔的科技博物馆，那么我也非常好奇，这个体验中心和加州的那个博物馆啊，到底有哪些区别？到底有哪些黑科技？所以啊，我今天特别邀请了一位懂行的大咖来带我们一起来体验一下这个 GTC 科技体验中心。他就是英特尔公司的全球首席市场官 Brett Hanna 先生。Hi Brett， nice to meet you. Hey, you? Nice to meet you. 这是 great pleasure to have you to join this journey and let's explore this center. And I've been told there's a lot of technology, lot of interesting stuff. Yes. So let's just jump into it. Awesome! Looking forward to it. Perfect. Intel GTC 科技体验中心啊，位于北京北三环的英特尔中国区总部环球贸易中心，占地面积呢一千五百平方米，包含了芯片制造、AIPC、数字化转型啊等等六大展区，全面展示了英特尔的各种黑科技在中国的研发和落地的场景。So there's a lot of history descriptions of Intel, and、uh, in the entire chip and semiconductor、uh, industry, arguably the most important law or principle is Moore's law. Moore's law, right? right. So and、uh, it's proposed by Gordon Moore, yeah, which is also who is also co-founded Intel in 1956. Yeah, yeah, it was 65. So it was before I was born, definitely <laughs> well before you were born. Absolutely, absolutely.、Um, but what I find fascinating about Intel is just out of sand. Comes silicon, comes compute,、mm. um, and if we look at here, I mean, basically, we've got the history of Intel、yes. and all of the innovations that have come over time.、Mm. So it starts well before、oh, I was、yeah. born,、yes. but then it gets into more complex compute with the four double o four. If we start walking around here,、mm. then we start to see things that maybe some people are familiar with,、yes. such as the eight o two eight. Oh yes, yeah. Do you remember that,、It's、or are you too young? Yeah, I was probably too. I was born in the eighty-two. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> See, I bought my first eight hundred two. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was it was as expensive as a car. Right, I see. Right, you cho you chose where you're going to buy、yes. a computer,、yes. or you're going to buy a car. Right, and it's just changed so much.、Yeah. I mean, really, I think that's the power of Intel is that we enabled compute to go to everyone. Okay. All right. In those days. It was only the government. It was only the bank that had a computer.、Yes. But as soon as you get to the eight hundred two eight six, three eighty six, and it keeps on going around、yeah. into things like Pentium,、mm -hmm. and then ultimately Core.、Mm -hmm. um, but this innovation tree—it's a nice walk down memory lane.、Mm -hmm. But I think when we look at it more closely, just the impact on lives、mm -hmm. it's had.、Yeah. Uh, and I remember in two thousand two thousand five. It, we launched Wi-Fi,、mm. right, with the industry, and、yeah. so it was going from PCs into laptops, and then connected devices everywhere.、Mm. So it's a fascinating walk through history.、Awesome. It really is. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. 除了英特尔的发展历史呢，体验中心里啊还特别展示了英特尔在中国的发展历史。It, it surprises me, like Intel's been in China for for a long time, right? So、yeah. in 1985. Yes. Is there anything like interesting stories about Intel's success, like in China? Oh, absolutely, and it's on so many levels. I, I think not only did we, you know, lean win with the government and and really understand the local market and how we can work together as China as Intel、um, to start to build the computer infrastructure here. As opposed to everything being brought in from outside,、um, it was really, really quite fascinating. So, you know, in two thousand three, you know, our first factory started construction here.、Mm -hmm. So it wasn't, you know, silicon being imported; it's silicon being manufactured here.、Um, and what I'm really, really fascinated by is just how we stretched it into influencing Asia Pacific. All、right. So rather than just ideas coming in, ideas started to go out, and just the relationship between Intel and China is on so many, many levels. What I love seeing is that all of that talent locally、mm. 
working together to further China's cause, mm. right? Really modern technology, new platforms, new use cases. It, it's just fascinating to be a part of. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. So yeah. speaking of technology, one of the hottest trending topic is actually AI. It is. Right, worldwide and certainly in China. Yeah. Right, so what's your vision or what's Intel's vision on the importance of AI currently? And um, uh, what's the Intel's strategy for, you know, any applications like PC uh, using AI to in that kind of market area? Yeah, so it, it's, it really is on every facet. And what I love about AI, it's promising a lot but I think now everyone is going, well, exactly what is it promising, yeah. all right? How does it affect me as a person? How does that affect you as a business sort of thing? Um, and what we're really seeing now is we finally start to see the good ideas mm. around AI um, rather than just the letters A and I. Yeah. Um, and that's what really we've been working with the ecosystem locally mm. uh, to enable, uh, and whether it's in healthcare, whether it's on your local PC, whether it's embedded in robots. I mean, there are so many different aspects of what AI could do. Mm. Intel's aim with AI is just to bring AI everywhere. Mm. And just as we did with the computer, where it used to cost a car, <laughs> now it's a lot cheaper. It's like a, a thousand US dollars to buy a computer. Um, we want AI to be pervasive. Mm. And really, I think Intel, Intel China, working with the local e ecosystem, we can bring AI to life mm. for everyone. And Perfect. that's a really unique Intel story, the ability to bring whole ecosystems with us as opposed to just operating by ourselves. Mm. It's awesome. good stuff. Awesome. Yeah. I've been told there's an AI PC area. There so is. We should have a look. look. Yeah. Perfect. Let's go. Spread, this is um, there's a digital man or avatar here. I'll yeah. probably just try to ask some questions to see how he performs. Yeah, go for it. All right. 你好, CMO because as a research scientist I'm currently doing this research in uh, chips, semiconductor yep. stuff, I read a lot of academic papers. Right. And as a video, uh, I'm, when I'm making videos, I need to do a lot of research, reading a lot of uh, information as well. Uh, sometimes I really hope there's an AI to help me to summarize all, summarize all that stuff. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah, I've got yeah. Dozens of materials. I just want to do it. So this is a very large uh, document, uh, which is the AIPC white paper. Right. Uh, so it's very long, a uh, very big uh, stuff. Uh, so let's just drop it into this model. Yep. I've got some prompts here. So let's just say in, like summarizing this document. Absolutely. Yeah. So I'm just. Uh, yeah. So it's really fast. The thing like this document talking about the development of AI PC, how it's going to, you know, what's the uh, technologies and, and uh, how is it being used in helping people to be more efficient. It's so a very long, very long, uh, very big white paper on this. And what's the beauty of it, I think there's still some uh, generation generated prompts automatically right. from this document. Oh, wow. Yeah, something like what's the advantage of AI PC, we just select it, just submit. Right. Let's just tell you what's the and distill the actual data. Just, yeah. yeah. And I think the beauty of it is everything running locally. I don't have to get access to the internet. Yeah. You know, I don't have to, you know, doing all that kind of stuff. And so just the running locally on my machine. I can do it whatever I can. Um so yeah, so this is quite a, quite a useful, like it summarize all the yeah. advantages. So yeah. I can probably make a video about AIPC then. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well I think uh, what what's really powerful about this is it, all the focus on gene AI has been on things like chat GBT mm -hmm. and, and similar things, yeah. but that's just the World Wide web. It's not what you've got stored like your documents and what you're downloading. So now you've got your own large language model on your stuff, mm. uh, which is really, really powerful. Mm. Yeah. And it's, a, it's, a, it's a even secure as well. Very secure because it's not up in the cloud. Yeah. It's, it's what you own. It's your life, whatever yeah. it is. Yeah. And you're able to query it the same way that we can query the internet yeah. with ChatGPT, et cetera. Yeah. So it's really, really good stuff. Well, actually, I use AI to use a lot of videos because I use a lot of videos. 
。但是呢，一方面找图比较麻烦，另一方面呢，可能还会有版权的风险。但是啊，用 AI 画图就没这些问题了。会师啊，是我常用的一个基于 Stable Diffusion 的 AI 作图工具，强烈推荐大家试试。那这里呢，我们看到它已经能够很好的适配运行在这个 AI PC 上。We have just、uh, seen a lot of AI PC demos, and、uh, um, I've been following Intel's、uh, progress on AI PC. And I noticed Intel has just launched the latest version, like Luna Lake, for the Ultra、right. UltraBook、uh, series. Anything like you can share with us, like、uh, what's the benefits, what's the advantages of Luna Lake, anything? Absolutely. So when we launched、uh, Core Ultra, so when we did that late in 2023, it really brought the AI PC to the world. Uh, and what we've seen over this year is literally millions of people buying、uh, these Core Ultra laptops that are AI enabled. What Luna Lake is, a Media Lake was our first gen, if you like, and what our second gen or next gen AI PC allows us to do is to do a lot more, do it a lot faster.、Um, but at the same time, what we've done is worked with the ecosystem and enabled. You know, 300 ISVs globally to bring new experiences. So you can imagine if you have three times more AI compute power, you can do three times more AI things, do them faster, do more complex things.、Um, the other thing we've been focusing on is power consumption. So with the local, you know, OEMs and the local hardware manufacturers, you get beautiful devices. They're thinner. You can work for literally days,、um, and just you know, battery life is certainly a lot better. So, better power, faster, designed for AI,、um, and really is just bringing a whole new world of experiences to people. So we're really excited by it.、Mm. All right, it's coming out later this year. Thank you very much, Brad. No problem. Thank you for your time for today, showing、yep. us and like joining us. Around this tour, it's a very great.、Uh, it's a great、um, a place. Yeah, they're showing a lot of intel. Oh, look, I just appreciate all your interest in it. Yeah. yeah. So look, honestly, we've got so much coming up this year. So we'll we'll definitely be talking again when you see some, some new things come out. Okay, thank But you. But I love talking to you today. Okay, thank you thank so you. much. Thank you. Thank you. This tour, I remember the most is this sentence: "The cost of the chip is the stone. The cost of all the value is human wisdom." After the tour, I felt more that the power of technology is not only present in creating, but also present in using. If it doesn't work, the best chip will probably have no value. So, how to use technology and technology to make the process more easy, to help more children get better education, to make cross-cultural communication without a barrier, to make the environment better? Be better. 应该才是人类智慧的最终归宿。内容有用，请点赞，喜欢请关注。我是老石，我们下期视频再见。